it actually possible to walk 100,000 steps in 24 hours? 100k steps is 50 miles of walking. And it all begins right now at midnight. It's currently 12 a.m., which means I've the next 24 hours to walk 100,000 steps. Here's a shot of the beginning. Since it's 12 a.m. at night, I'm gonna spend the next five, six hours on a treadmill getting steps. No time to waste. Let's get it going, boys. A journey of 100,000 steps starts with one. One down, 99,999 to go. Whew. Look at me absolutely power through these first steps, walking like I've been doing it for 23 years. Big milestone, guys. First 1,000 steps are officially done, which means I am 1% of the way done with this challenge. Kind of depressing. This is going to be an extremely long day. 99,000 to go, baby. The number 100,000 is no joke. Mr. Beast counted 200K, but I have to physically walk it. 10K, baby. So we hit 10,000, 10% of the way through. I am already exhausted. The challenge is going to be so much harder than I thought. I'm going to try to lock in for the next couple hours, just pound as much as possible, and just see how many steps I can get up to before the sun rises. So basically, for the next three hours, I did nothing but absolutely obliterate Miles. Hope your girl's name isn't Miles. So for you guys, that went by like that. But it is now 5.07 a.m. I've been walking for basically five hours straight. And we just hit 30,000 steps. So we're 30% of the way there. Sun's gonna rise in about an hour. I'm gonna walk down to the river, get some new motivation because I desperately need it and hit 70,000 more steps. No lie, it was a relief to escape the treadmill. Imagine five hours straight on a treadmill. That's what I did. Oh, hey, it's me. Oh, what a beautiful number. So officially one third of the way through this. It's been a journey to get here. But the good thing is it's not 8 a.m. yet. So I'm on pace to hit 100,000 if I continue at this pace. Plus, I was really starting to be internally motivated by some sunlight. Literally made it like four minutes before sunrise. And now I get to enjoy this beautiful sunset while filming a video for you guys. It doesn't get better. It doesn't get better. I love you guys. Subscribe so we can hit 40K strong. Then I took a seat like an old man. Oh my gosh, my legs have never felt this much relief in their life and I'm only a third of the way through. My legs are gonna be actual bricks at the end of this. They hurt so much right now. Back on the feet, back to more steps. I think for the next 15,000 steps or so, I'm just going to walk the trail I normally run. Good solid way to get miles, get steps in. Definitely much better than that treadmill. On the trail with some new motivation. Steps were ticking by. In case you guys are like, oh, Tyler's super weak. He's walking. He's not even running. Let me remind you that 100,000 steps is about 50 miles. So I have to travel 50 miles in 24 hours, which is tough no matter how you're doing it. I love tackling what seems nearly impossible and just throwing effort at it because I have marginal running talent. Anyway, here's my step strategy. I'm really trying to focus on high cadence here. It doesn't really matter how fast I walk, it's about how many steps I get in. So I want to maximize steps per mile so then I don't have to walk as many miles. 3A stun, baby. It's like we're at the 600 meter mark of a mile right now. Fatigue's already set in, but it's not quite hard yet. But you guys know the hardest lap of a mile, third lap, that's gonna be the time between 50,000 and 75,000 steps when the end is so far away but you're still hurting a ton. Looking back, this was probably the bliss period of the entire challenge. I stopped and did some stretches, but I was still feeling good and hit my all-time step high. So I just hit 42,000 steps on the day, which exceeds my most ever. My most was 41,000 when I ran for five hours without stopping. And the fact that it is 8 a.m. and I've already exceeded that is crazy. And honestly, none of this would be possible without the sponsor of today's video, Move In Souls. So before I started this whole day, I took out the Nike soles because they're weak and I put in the move insole. I literally would not be able to do this challenge without the move insoles just because it would be impossible on my feet. These provide enough cushion for me to be able to go 
50 miles on my feet in one day. There's a ton of impact absorption in the insole, which makes it super good for protecting the feet against hard surfaces. I'm obviously using them just for walking today, but these things are amazing for running as well. If your guys' feet are ever hurting at the end of a long run, throw and move insoles and your foot would be so much more cushioned throughout the entire run. Just look at how cushioned this thing is throughout. Look at that thick heel support, that is beautiful. Once again, I just wanna emphasize how important these are to the video. I literally would not be able to do what I'm doing without these right now. Click the link in the description for 15% off your set of move insoles. I'm gonna get back to it and hit the remaining 58 thousand steps I still have to do. Holy mother of God. Intimidating, and I was starting to develop a limp. I'm noticing that after so long on my feet, just straight walking for essentially eight hours in a row, I'm really starting to feel pain in my joints. Like my heels, ankles, and knees are the things that are hurting the most. And what's scary is we're not even halfway through. And I really can't even imagine the pain I'm gonna feel at like 90,000. But for right now, I was laser focused on hitting the 50,000 mark. Being at the halfway point meant that I only had to do everything I already did Again, it's easy, right? And after another two hours of walking, I hit it. Big news, baby, big news. We are halfway there. We're halfway there. And I'm going insane. Since we made it to the halfway point, I'm gonna take off my shoes and kind of address the wear on my feet and see how bad it really is. I'm slowly starting to hurt more and more every single step. After 50,000 steps, I'm kind of scared to see what my feet look like. Oh, that puppy is raw. Guys, this is the content you will not get anywhere else. I've been walking on like gravel sand the whole time and you can literally see the line where my sock is. What's really getting raw is the back of my ankle right here. The way that the pegs are built, this part rubs a little bit, especially after like 25 miles. So we hit 50,000. The only downside is that this coming 50,000 is gonna be a lot more difficult than the previous 50,000 because I already have 50,000 steps on these feet and legs. So I took a well-deserved break, but eventually I was back on the move with only a marathon left to walk. A marathon left is a rough estimate because remember, 100,000 steps is about 50 miles. But that meant since I was already at 50, nope, 52,000 steps now, I'd officially walked an entire marathon already. Well, I've officially gone an entire marathon today. The worst part is, is I still have at least 20 miles to go. Also, calories are starting to become a factor. I've burned a lot of calories. So what I really need right now is some super sustaining, super nutritious food. I feel like I deserve it. About 14 hours left to get 45,000 steps. Problem arises when you consider that I'm just gonna get more and more and more and more tired, potentially not being able to walk by then. Low key taking a break was not a good idea because my knees ache right now. It's a daunting task, guys. But I pound it until... 60K, baby. The last 10,000 were by far the hardest 10,000. I'm actually getting deeply concerned about how difficult this is gonna be down the stretch. My legs hurt so much. Try to get to 70K steps on the trail and then maybe seek refuge. Another challenge is I'm filming this in Texas in July where it's already approaching 100 degrees. At the thousand meter mark, the mile. This is when the kick begins. And thank God it's about to begin because I don't have much race left in me if I'm being honest. 37,000 more steps. And this is the point it really started to hurt. I mean, really hurt. My legs were in constant pain and exhaustion. As I near 70,000 steps here, my legs have quite literally never felt worse. I've ran over a marathon distance three times in my life. And after each one of those runs, my legs felt better than they do right now. And I still have like 15 miles left to go. Every step is so much pain. I thought that this would be hard, but I really did not think it was gonna be this hard. But I wanna give my everything to finish. Oh, guys. Oh, no. I've never felt exhaustion like this. Not after any race, after any run, after anything, man. Oh! And I was still persevering to hit a milestone. 
Hallelujah, 70k. This means we've truly entered the end game. And this, this is where the fall of man occurs. I was so tired I wasn't filming much, but I stopped at a gas station for water. For whatever reason, after I left, I bonked, which I didn't think was possible from walking. This is me walking after I left the gas station. And so I leave you with 78,000 steps and a warning to never try this.